I grew up in Canberra and at the Australian National University. I did a double degree in psychology and economics. There were only about four or five of us who were studying both psychology and economics. But it was quite clear to me that both of those disciplines were about understanding human behaviour, human decision making. Um, they were just coming from very different traditions and they had very different assumptions. Traditionally, economics assumed that people were quite rational, that they did things for uh, their self-interest. Um, and when we bring psychology into this, we realise it's a, a far more complicated and, and richer picture. Towards the end of my degree, uh, I learned about the work of Daniel Kahneman, of Richard Thaler. Um, Nudge came out and it was really exciting to see that these two very different fields, psychology and economics, uh, could be integrated and it could be useful as well. After that, I took some time off um, and got some work experience. And in particular, I worked with the National Death Index, which is the database of all the deaths in Australia since uh, 1980. I moved overseas for a little bit, did a little bit of traveling for a year or so. And, um, but before long, I was kind of lured back into the world of research and behavioral science. I did want to come back to Australia, but perhaps to a bigger city. Um, and I was also ready to be a student again. So I was ready to, to learn again and um, to get back into research. And that's how I ended up in Melbourne um, and doing my PhD there. It was looking at personality psychology and pro-social behaviour. And so I was looking at things like being compassionate versus being polite. How are they similar? How are they different? And what sort of behaviours are they related to? Politeness and compassion are both nice, but they're different. One's about being polite, respecting social rules, social etiquette, um, inhibiting our more antisocial tendencies. And the other is about emotional um, uh, a warmth and compassion for, for others. I loved the research part of my PhD. I, I really wanted to do more research and I was certainly open to doing work that had a bit more of a, a practical or applied focus. And of course, um, behavior works came along or, or I came across behavior works. And I loved the idea that I could bring sort of my knowledge and, and research experience and looking at behaviors, particularly pro-social behaviors and, and um, my knowledge in, in social psychology and, and look at real world pressing problems and apply it to that. One of the things that I'm most passionate about when it comes to behavioral science is getting a better understanding of uh, individual differences in behavioral science. So um, traditionally and very often we focus on the, the average. Uh, we look at sort of how the average person responds to a behavioral intervention. What does the average person do? Um, but the average is actually hiding or obscuring a lot of variation. So we often tell people, you know, your target audience is not like you, but your target audience is not like each other as well. Um, and so when it comes to behavioral interventions, often it's not one size fits all. If we don't understand why people behave differently, then we're losing a lot of information. So um, by looking at only at the average, we, we don't see how some people might be benefiting from a behavioral intervention, but others might actually be harmed. Personality, traditionally, we often thought of personality as something that was quite fixed. Uh, we know it's relatively stable, but it also can change as well. And um, there wouldn't be a whole industry of self-help out there if it couldn't be changed. <laughs>